Hello guys, in this video I will talk about sending messages with pictures in WhatsApp based on the number and message text you entered in the Microsoft Excel. With the format I have prepared, you will be able to send the instant messages to people who are in your contacts or not. You will also be able to do this without applying any formula, just by pressing a button after adding the phone, message and picture. With this format, you can add messages by adding only text or picture if you wish. In the content of our video, we will examine our macro codes button creation, the headers of our table, the image upload area, and how the application works in full detail. First, let's send a quick message. So, let's see how the application works together. First of all, I upload an image and select an image from my computer. Then all I have to do is click on the button here. I come to the click to send a bulk message button and click on it. Now as you can see, the message is written in the box, the image is copied and sent. Since I wrote the same number to different people in the list as an example, the messages go to the one person, one after the other. Now, after all messages are sent, all tables close automatically, as you can see at the end. When we come to our Excel work again, we get an information message that the sending is complete. We can also see that the contact list is colored with green. People who have been sent are colored with green color. As you can see in the rows that are not sent, it remains the same. Thus, as I said, you will be able to identify the, the unsent contacts immediately. Also, as you can see, when we come to the WhatsApp message, we can see, the, we can see that the link sending has been successful. Let's click on the link. As you can see, the page is opened according to the link that we have sent. Thus, in this application, you will be able to direct the link you want to recipients. As you can see, the process is very simple. You will only have to enter the number and the message in the cells. You will also need to select the image you want to send from your computer and press the send button. If you wish, you can send it as a text only message. The gray button at the bottom will reset the filled cell colors from the previous message. It will also delete the upload image. So you don't have to deal with this process one by one. I mean, reset the format. As you can see, both the picture and filled cell colors has been deleted. Now I clicked on the button without uploading a picture. Now I click on the button without uploading a picture. As you can see, the messages are delivered to the recipient without any problems. Again, as in the previous application, the internet tabs are closed automatically after the message sending is completed. Also, the fill color of the send contacts is highlighted in green. If you want to access this worksheet, you can download it by being subscribed. Our Patreon account is the link in the descriptions. It is delivered ready to use without the need for any installation. Just make sure that the study is saved as a workbook that can contain macros. You should also make sure you are using the updated Excel version. Additionally, this work is not compatible with Mac computers. Now, if you want to create this work yourself, you should pay attention to what we are doing. How did we create this worksheet and how did we assign which features to button? How did we create our macro codes? 
Let's talk about the details in a sequence. First, let's, let's examine our worksheet. As you can see in our worksheet, we have a list between columns between A, C. In this list, there are name, surname, phone number, and message text headings. You can add as many people as you wish here. There is no restriction on the number of people in the list, but WhatsApp may have a certain limitation in this regard. For this reason, I do not recommend sending to so many people at the same time, otherwise there may be a risk of your account being terminated. You can also send a private message to the person in the list, as you can see, for bulk messages as a single text can be enough. But if you want to personalize it, you can apply it quickly with a simple formula. Now I come to the first cell with my message text and I enter the cell. I add equals to the beginning. I put the hello part in quotation marks. I put the a space in between and at the ampersand here I select the name cell in the contact list then I add the ampersand again and put the rest of my text in question marks then I apply the formula to all rows as you can see we have a created a personalized message text. If you wish, you can customize the message text of the receivers using this method. After completing the list and adding the, adding the message text, we can now move on to the next stage. On the far right side, we have the image, image upload area. There is a not just inside it, Images will be uploaded to this field. If only text will be sent, this field should be empty. So you can send a message without uploading here. There is no readjustment. All arrangements have been completed within the macro calls. Our first macro button appears here. As you can see, when we click it, there is an image upload area. You can directly select an image from here and upload it. Normally, we can add a picture to the cell by coming to the pictures from the insert tab, but we wanted to create an automatic format in this study. We added the size and position of the image, image we uploaded to our macro code. We see the image as soon as we upload it in the position we want. Let's immediately say view code and let's come to our macro code. First, we see the name we gave to the macro. We say sub insert image. Then there are some variable definitions. Dim image path as string, image left as double, and image top as double variable and its type. On the next line, we specify the file path of the image. We have a definition called image path equals application get open file name the name that appears in the window that opens here the extensions of the image to be selected are added then in our code on the bottom line there is an exit statement if the image image is not selected with the condition if condition in our next code the image left and image top definitions are in opposite places. The left and top coordinates of the image are determined. Now in our code here, we add the picture to the range we specified with the settings. We say active sheet dot pictures dot insert select dot then with the selection we express the name, position and size of the picture in this range. We end our topic with end, with end and sub. When we come to our Excel worksheet again, 
let's show the button assignment let's do a sample study for this now i i am adding a button for a quick example on a blank area you can also add the button from sh shapes i come to the shapes from the insert quickly top and add a shape i adjust its size and write upload image as a description i ensure its size and al alignment now i hover over the shape and right click then i choose assign macro from the menu here a window opens in front of us here are all the macros we have written what we needed was the load load image macro we can make the selection immediately and say ok now let's click on the button as you can see the load image window opened as you can see in the top window description we specified in the macro it's a select image we select the image here and say ok as we can see by assigning a macro we can perform the image upload process quickly with the button in this way now let's examine our our next macro code our macro code here will enable sending bulk messages with pictures in whatsapp let's come to our code as we can see in the first part the name of our macro is send whatsapp message in the first part we defined our variables again as you can see the variables we need the we, we need our url message phone image path and suffix definitions the types of these variables are also specified next to them when we get to the bottom line we find the last row previously we were giving the contact list range in numbers so when the contact list decreased or increased we had to edit our code again now it will be automatically sent according to the number of the last line in this line we say find the last row of com column c on the send whatsapp message page then in the for loop we start from the second row that is from the row with our first number and return until the last row variable here we define a formula cell variable again we specify this variable as cell c as the variable in e i increases in the for loop the cell of this variable will also change we defined the message variable to the value of the formula cell variable we created we define the phone variable as the previous cell value with offset then we create a url in the bottom line in other words we create a link to redirect to the whatsapp application we specify the link in quotation marks until plus 90 but you can change the plus 90 part according to the your country code then we add the phone variable with and sign after text equals this time we add the message variable in the next line in op it opens this link in the web browser and gives the command to go to the link in our code on this line we determine the waiting time this time can be changed according to your own internet speed you can find this by experimenting more the times here not specific and precise it may change according to the internet speed of the person it may increase or decrease as i said you can change this as you try the time here is important because depending on the waiting time messages may not be sent to phone people uh, sent to the people in the between therefore it is necessary to determine enough time now we have completed the part of part up to sending messages our lines up to this point we were about sending messages 
In the next part, we will add picture sending to the WhatsApp message box. We define the variable the picture verification as picture. Then we continue with on error, resume next or not. In this line, we name the uploaded image as WP picture. Then select each loaded WP picture in this range and copy the selection. Finally, with call send case, we give the control V command that is passed. Since the process is necessary in this process, we add a duration, duration again. We set this as 4 seconds. After all these message insertion and image insertion operations, we have a code that express pressing the enter K on this line. With this command, enter is pressed and sending is provided. Then in this range, there is the coloring of the fill colors of the senders I mentioned at the beginning of the video. As, as the I variable in, uh, increases, we say apply the settings specified in these cells. We express the color code here. Finally, we express the closing of all Google Chrome tabs opened with hide in this comment. It is worth noting that this code is only valid for closing the Chrome browser. Yes, finally, we create a message box that the process is complete and complete our code with end sub. When we come to the Excel sheet, if you assign this macro code to the click to send bulk message, the process will be completed. Finally, let's take a quick look at the reset format code. This step is optional. If you wish, you can reset the format manually by not adding it to the format you created. Yes, I am coming to do VBA screen. Let's come to the reset click code at the bottom. First, we define the last row variable again and find the last row as before. Then we say reset the padding in a certain range, certain range. Starting from A2, we say reset until the last line. Finally, after adding the check image and delete comment with delete, we finish the code with and sub. Like other press, like other button formations, you can complete the process by assigning it to a shape you add. Yes, we have, we have come to the end of our work in this way. If you wish, you can buy this work I have prepared through the link I have added to explanation section. Or you can create your own work by reviewing the codes in the video. With this work, you can send picture messages to many people with a single click. You can also do this without the need for these people to be registered in your contacts. We have come to the end of our video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can leave your feedback or any other questions about Excel in the comment section. Have a nice day.